Welcome to Sculpture Studios. Through the various designs of the Volkswagen Beetle over the years, now we're going back to the original classic. A client wants a replica front end of a Beetle made for a stage show, where the performers could get behind it as though they're driving. He was looking for something nice and iconic that the audience would easily recognise, and so chose this rather appropriate style for us to create. The client mentioned that the car needed to be raised on a platform in the centre of their stage. However, when we compared the dimensions of their floor to the actual car design, in the understanding they wanted the car made from the front bumper to halfway through the side door, we realised the car design overshot the platform by about half a metre. So on the computer, we brought up some blueprints of the Beetle from side on, and reduced the overall length of the car from front to back by around 15%. This effectively squashed the design ever so slightly, but as this is only ever going to be seen from the front, this slight perspective change shouldn't really make a difference, and with a recognisable look like the Beetle, would pretty much look the same anyway. After agreeing these proportions with the client, he left it up to us to get the job done, as we only had a two week deadline. Here we are cutting the whole thing out from polystyrene. Now, unfortunately, the camera ran out of battery at this point, Otherwise we would have shown you the lovely moment where all the cut pieces fall off the block to reveal the cubist form. It's a shame we didn't get this shot, as this is one of our favourite moments, but you get the idea. Originally when we first received this project, we weren't actually planning to carve from polystyrene at all. When we heard the client wanted a replica made, we found someone relatively local called Charlie Andrews that had an original beetle in his possession. We asked him if we could take a mould in order to produce an exact replica cast, and at first we obviously expected him to say no, understandably, as it's a classic car kept in very good condition. But then he said he'd seen our website, taken a look at the sort of things we'd made in the past, and our range of work, and he said he'd be happy for us to take a mould, knowing that we wouldn't damage the car. Considering he didn't know us personally, this was a very brave but very complimentary gesture, and he brought it down to the studio. With the size change already confirmed, it obviously would have been pointless for us to take a mould from the real car, but we appreciated that we could keep this car in our studio for a week or so, as a good first hand reference to work from. So thank you very much Charlie, it was a big help for this job. The whole thing's being carved with the usual nail brushes and wire brushes, and stone mason rifflers are used to add the finer details. We're trying to make sure we include all the necessary features, keeping all the curves, lines and ridges as accurate to the real model as possible. We give everything a protective layer of sticky back foil once we've sent the client updates and he's happy for us to proceed, and we give everything a blanket coat of glass fibre. As we're going to be hollowing the sculpture out, we're using 4 ounces of fiberglass, as this is a good balance between strength and weight. The sculpture's being hollowed out as the performers need to get behind it with their legs underneath, and though polystyrene is relatively light for its size, a bulk this large inside still adds a considerable amount of weight, and we want to make it easily manageable. We've reinforced around the base of the car with extra fiberglass to give the shell a bit of rigidity and to save it wobbling. As this is going to be used inside, we're also using Classo rated resin for fire regulations. We're giving the car a lovely coat of yellow paint, so it's going to stand out on stage, and in keeping with this authenticity of the Beetle theme, we're actually using a genuine steering wheel, real chrome bumpers, bonnet strips and rims for the headlamps to make it look the part. Rather than creating over complex wire work for the electrics, we've added some simple torches behind the lights that the client can remove to replace the batteries. We just think these lights will give it a bit more life. So in two weeks we managed to get this Beetle made and finished on time for our client and it was then shipped off away from our studio to cruise round on its new stage tour. Please feel free to leave any comments below, as they're always appreciated, and hit the subscribe button for our latest videos. You can like Sculpture Studios on Facebook, and for more of our work, visit sculpturestudios.co.uk. Thank you very much for watching.